Uh, boy, uh, I wasn't going to plan on this stuff, but I'm not going to let it go so easily. Uh, so this is going to be part number four. Uh, it was actually too much that went on outside of the center, and these are the proof. This is, this is just a testimony that I cannot allow myself to let it go just like that. I can't just go and close my eyes and not, you know, pretend that I have not been here, seen what I have gone through, basically. Uh, what else went on here outside of the center? Okay. Uh, the lady would pay uh, the lady would pay a phone calls in the evenings at 10 o'clock and I don't mind that I like that it's a good stuff to greet to say hello and so on but at the same time she knew very well what went on inside of the center here. She was totally familiarized with what is going on, what went on, and sometimes it was quite strange because it sounded like she is totally familiarized with the situation, like almost like an Orwellian way, wanted to talk to me about, you know, what went on throughout the day. And it was not really a pleasant stuff that... Uh, we would talk about in case I would decide to discuss, uh, you know, issues related to this place. And so I had to advise her on quite a few occasions that I would not discuss uh, at nights uh, or for that matter, even in private, I have declined to discuss what went on in this place. She knew very well, uh, I have well explained how much she was familiarized with the whole thing. And it would be a stupid thing for me to go and discuss whatever I already have gone through throughout the daytime with her at night. Basically repeat whatever went on uh, throughout the day. That would, I would really uh, do myself a bad favor in that case. It, it, it's, it's just a bad thing to do before you go sleep. And those phone calls would be at 10 o'clock. The last one. However, it was like at 11 o'clock and it was a very heavy one, a stupid talk about my second complaint to her. And it was not even even complaint. I have just mentioned her that the jam she gave me the, after the third spoon that I took that. And the only thing that happened was the same thing like have happened in her car. Uh, the sound, the pressure sound in the head would simply explode. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, again, and that was a call that was done not even at 10 o'clock, it was done at 2300 hours, already a day after we have discussed this issue, and I was completely nice about it. And she brought this issue again the next day, just like she had brought the first time when I have mentioned her, uh, the very same issue I have experienced after eating... Uh, a bakery her bakery uh, about probably two and a half months earlier can you imagine somebody repeating to you a thousand times something that you have mentioned her uh, two and a half months earlier just once you mention and you're told like on a million occasions that you're not going to be offered food anymore when you visit her place and stuff like this which you repeatedly even decline to take when you're over there you're forced basically to take the food and in the end you are basically thrown like you go to her place just i don't know to eat food and stuff like this and she was desperate for companionship it was like desperate uh, to get me inside in there and so that was the last time uh, and it was also a lie like as for me being root basically saying to her that I ate old gem uh, and this was the case with me and so this was the stuff that I decided that I just had to stop the whole thing uh, you know, these things are just not going in the right direction. This, this lies were just mounting and mounting and mounting, and it was time to stop it. It, it was other stuff too that was, uh, in respect to the librarian. I'm going to have video coming, and you were able to see in the part, in the part number three of this series, 
what exactly went on. Uh, library closed all the time. But what do you need exactly more than a library as a journalist after your computer is disabled, dismantled, after two of your Androids are dismantled, after everything you use, any kind of communication equipment, anything you use basically is dismantled. I do not know. It doesn't cross my mind. What exactly would that be? What exactly would you use? I do not know. More than library, public library. And this public library was like a la cartouche, the way it was done. Uh, the first librarian, what they would do is... They would try to get my me, take my belongings over there at their place. This would be yet the biggest mistake. I haven't done that because I remember they had Russians over there in MK Ultra. They had Russians coming. The Russians were at their at her place and at the other place. Uh, but still the other place was less likely. Uh, it was related completely to the Varsho. Uh, less likely they would just come around and they would mess with the stuff like that, okay? It just, uh, even that when I purchased this tablet and I left one at the, the old lady's place, uh, first week I was so traumatized with everything they have destroyed me that I would not even bring this tablet here. I would just leave one right there to get along with the keyboard and everything that I purchased at her place. Uh, you have no idea when they do the stuff like this how much you're traumatized. You don't know if you're gonna wake up, uh, and even the money I had, I would not, I would not leave one here at this place. I would go and ask security guard to keep one, and I have left one at her place. Uh, fact of the matter is that it was the week. I understand she was also absent. She was at the hospital, and I'm not saying she was not. The only thing I'm saying is. Uh, you know, she was involved in MK Ultra. She knew all this stuff. The only thing I'm saying is, so it was all, always said to me under MK Ultra, it, it will, how you will see things. It depends how you will see things. How you will see things. Whether you're going to see positive in a negative, or and you're going to make positive, or you're going to see everything negative. All right. The first time I turned this, tablet on, the only thing that would happen would be bzz, bzz, vibration. It would go off and off and off and off, on and on and on. Uh, it looked like, boy, it's gonna, it's gonna kill the battery. It looked like it's gonna kill the battery. Um, was it done at this place? No. It was done outside of this place. So, it was done here, I would go there. And when I went there, uh, the same thing repeated that went on here, but I'm not supposed to talk about it because this was outside of the center because it was Polish people, right? That were involved in it. So you're not supposed to talk about that stuff. So this is this is how the manipulation was, okay? How they have done these things, uh, you know, to make people uh, basically to have to have me to to have me quiet. And then Ultra they have translated whatever they would do. Uh, the whole program in a such a way that you would actually see in a negative stuff a positive stuff. In other words, let's say I'm going to do some really, really bad stuff to you. Let's say I'm a librarian and I'm going to keep the library closed and I'm going to try to get you in a whole bunch of problems, troubles, which the case was. Uh, but you are not going to see me in a negative light because I'm going to give you like a little few freebies. As an excuse, I'm going to use just higher authority per whom I have to do this and there is nothing absolutely I can do it. Which, that is the case with her. This is from higher authority. If she wouldn't have done it, somebody else would replace her. It is simple as this. I'm not blaming her. Look, I'm not taking this stuff personally. I'm just here to explain exactly what went on, okay? Uh, and so, it was very manipulated. Uh, for, for, for the stuff you would do, uh, basically you would, you would be stupid, I was stupid, you would waste time on babysitting, on cleaning even a basement where... Um,
furnace is located, but this is not a, you know, not an oil furnace or anything like this, or powered furnace with electricity or something, electric furnace, something like this. this is like an old wooden furnace. <laughs> Nasty place, like this, big like this room, twice as big as this room, but they would not even clean, you know, whatever it would burn. I don't know how you say that in English, but it would just pile up and pile up. You have no idea, boy. It was like about maybe, maybe I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Probably more than 20 bags of stuff I had to take out of that basement, like packed, probably 20 at least bags packed heavy that I had to take out of that, whatever was left from, uh, you know, coal, burnt coal, uh, wood they have used for the winter. It might have been 25, I have no idea. It was nasty, filthy and stuff like this. This is stuff I did. I would go out and do freebie stuff for her. And as a reward, I would get a pencil. Uh, there was an old bike that friend of her husband borrowed that... I have used maybe on, maybe on, even on five occasions, maybe I did. I might have. Uh, the thing about it is that people laughed when they saw me. It was a man who said, I've never seen a bike so small and guy as big on, on a bike like this. It was kind of a funny, but still it was a good stuff, which I had to give up on because it was... I couldn't write that thing. That thing was just impossible really to write. But anyway, it was a form of help. Stuff like this. You get a coffee mug. Stuff like this. Um, stuff like this. And this is what... Never mind the library closures, right? What is time anyways? What is time anyways? Um, if I would be a little bit crazy, I guess that I would become like completely mistaken on, on on a value of the time on who i am on what i am i guess that i would be just i would forget about the whole thing where i am what exactly i'm doing under mk ultra they have views they have totally created impersonated situations during which i would be complaining to the human rights courts uh where i would be searching for assistance with other authorities european authorities and so on outside of the poland with Zhechnik Lutsky Prao Polsi, human rights ombudsman here in Poland. By the way, I was told if it's going to be anything against, if I'm going to talk anything against Kaczynski, stuff like this, forget it. Uh, well, up to date, I have not received any assistance from it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of speechless about the whole thing. Anyways. Um, during those situations when I would complain in the future, they have created like an atmosphere that would be like, you're going to get, if you're going to make it to complain, if you're even going to make it through, because at this was, this is going to be just about that time when you're going to disappear to Russia. You're going to manage to, to, uh, to submit a complaint, but it's going to be too late. If you're going to even make it, and even if you make it, they, they have created a bunch of situations like this. So they have created like a bunch of anxiety, stuff like this. They attempted to create like anxiety, a rush person. So person would make mistakes. So person would not complete the complaint and so on and so forth. And then you would have to deal with her. Library closures all of a sudden appeared. When you started to do that kind of stuff, it was all kinds of troubles all of a sudden appeared. And you would be pressed with the time. You would be like struggled like this with the time, but... We go back to MK Ultra, she would stay, you know, like when it comes to free biz, it would be a help. It, a library would stay open maybe 10, 15, 20, sometimes even half an hour longer than what it should. And for that matter, she would have to defend herself every time. This is what I was told, you know. Every, every, every stuff like this, every little favor, everything like this had its price for her. And this is, she would have to defend herself with her boss. It was all kinds of stories like this. Even that this thing happened maybe just a 
handful of times, maybe something like this. And so not only the library closures came to benefit this political atmosphere over there in Warsaw, uh, Russia, but also and beyond that, look, if you're going to see the following video, it's going to be about the Google. But, you know, it's a whole bunch of people that were involved in this and they just want to forget about the whole thing. When it comes to liabilities, when it comes to the bill, you know, everybody wants to drink for free. Nobody wants to be held liable for absolutely anything, okay? And so a whole bunch of, in addition to this library closure, was a whole bunch of other issues that involved me, uh, you know, wasting time that I shouldn't, basically mistaking abuse for friendship, which possibly could only be done if a person was brainwashed. And they brainwashed me big time under MK Ultra. And if, yeah, if I would display any kind of abnormalities, uh, they could, boy, get you in a trouble like, and they should, it should be, stuff like this should be, should get you in a trouble. Uh, you know, if you if you are funny in any way, you should get in trouble. But the thing is that, you know, how to see this stuff, how you would see this stuff, um, how do you see the library closures that are used literally to delete your stuff from the hard drive, from the stuff like this, because you don't have the ability to go to the library and have, uh, you know, stuff transferred to your to your to your to your gadgets and uploaded to the internet and things did happen like this i don't know how many of you you would see this in a positive light so um you know this was the connection from outside of this center and it was big time related to this place here whatever gadgets i got from these people whether it was from this lady here or was it from uh this librarian here None of these gadgets were damaged in absolutely any way. In any way. In any way. Not a charger, not a telephone. I didn't care about I left one right there to charge because I was so new, so certain about what they have going on that I knew that they're not going to damage themselves. You see, the only thing that was damaged was the stuff that belonged to me. That was about it. The only stuff that was damaged was the stuff that belonged to me. Uh, so it became completely evident. So I don't know. You want to mistake and have a duty, uh, abuse for a friendship, for love, uh, lies for love, uh, and even a torture as far as poisoning, as far as radiation here that went on for a patriotism. Something I couldn't, they expected me, probably I wouldn't, I don't know who the hell would. I'm just glad that I didn't lose my mind and, you know, uh, what can I say? This case belonged to the Poland, to the Polish people, to me and to the Polish people, not to the certain group of people that believe they have the monopoly, they have the right to decide about it. Uh, if the claim would go on, it would go against, you know, it would go against. Um, Poland, that is touching Polish nation, Polish people. God forbid this would happen. Uh, and I was the one who was affected by these politicians on the territory of the Poland. This is just, these are just, this can be unfortunate, misfortunate circumstances, but they also can turn into a fortunate circumstances, as I have explained. These people gave promises, whatever they have lied about, it's time to hold them liable for, and it's time to bring things forward. Um, it was another stuff that was important that I missed out on. Um, this portion of the MK Ultra that was like intersection you know 
Just think about, today I should be already entitled for the work permit. Instead of that, uh, people still ask me if I got a positive or negative. The lady, in fact, downstairs in the bureau asked me if I got a positive or negative answer from, uh, you know, from immigration authorities. Okay. Uh, it was, it's like intersection. This is what I was suggested, but come on. I mean, let's, let's be serious about it. This is serious. This is serious stuff that, you know, you, I cannot afford myself not to see it. Okay. And you cannot buy my trust based with, uh, with a stuff like this, this this something you're not gonna get. I mean, it's just as simple as this. Okay, I have gone through too much. Um, I got less to lose than what I already have lost. Way less. Uh, just as I've explained, the lady. This is foremost the case about my past, not so much even about the future. And so, and so. The intersection suggested uh, four outcomes, four possible outcomes. One outcome was for the people <laughs> that created troubles, that, that got into the fights and stuff like this. It, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. What they would do is they would direct them to psychologists. This American guy did found himself in a Warsaw eventually and they suggested that they harassed him more in action in a private residence. Uh, private residence and that he had to go visit a psychologist and I don't know what it was. It was all crazy. Uh, then it was another option that was open. The option was... One option was... There was quite a few options. One option was... Biala Podlaska, that means transfer, another location close to Gdansk, another one uh, in Gora Kalvaria. Uh, it's basically like this. Um, this would be a very bad option, one of the worst options. Uh, a punishment, in my case, because this area right here, this is area where is quite a lot of employment that goes on. Watch this area is quite employable area. There's quite a lot of jobs here. Versus, uh, let's say, a location over there in Gora Calvaria, which is like suburb of Warsaw, uh, where not much is going on. I don't even know what, what's going on over there in Warsaw. Uh, I don't know nothing much about what's going on. People, however, complain over there. Like I said, it was like a remote location cut away from everything and everybody. Americans complained that it was actually impossible to even get employment and stuff like this. Okay, another option. Um, closer to Gdansk. Uh, that was, however, did not appeal to Mr. Kaczynski. Mr. Kaczynski disliked Gdansk. Uh, he paranoid that big time with Gdansk, that Gdansk is like, tip, uh, like, he hated, but he didn't say why. That's that's the important part about it. He would inside in paranoia at Kaliningrad, which is close. This is not lie. He is so close. He's gonna be hijacked. You're gonna be abducted. Blah 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 blah. Uh, now, for that matter, the most I dislike Biela Podlaska, which really is close to the Belarus, and it's a lot of Russian population, Belarus population. Chances are, in a place like this, yeah, you can really disappear more than not. Uh, uh, as far as my neighbor, as far as I remember, my neighbor and my neighbor's bears, they talked about that it was a very bad location with respect to job market. Now, I do have friends over there. The locals over there, quite a few locals know me. The young kids actually know me. The younger generation is know me. Uh, but... Um, when it comes to option over there close to Gdansk, the reality was that Gdansk is a very, very different political atmosphere from Warsaw. And this, this is really why Mr. Kaczynski worried about Gdansk, uh, placing me closer to Gdansk. Mr. Kaczynski don't have much grip on an area around Gdansk. This is where uh, mayor of Gdansk, 
Mr. Adamovich was murdered just about a week after Mr. Kaczynski had a meeting with Italian fascist Salvini. Okay, there's a big difference. Uh, this Mr. Adamovich was not any kind of neo-Nazi or anything, any fascist, anything like this. It was just a person who wanted to have, uh, you know, Poland, according to uh, people's views, basically, um, views, views of the people, basically, open society, society that would give full potential to the Poland, which, again, I have already explained, this is the stuff that depends heavily on security, uh, you know, military capability, sovereignty, ability of, to keep sovereignty, engage in sovereignty on your own territory, and so on. Um, something that doesn't fit well along with Mr. Kaczynski for a million reasons why, okay? <laughs> they talk about, uh, they talk about two things. They talk about Berlin and they talk about the Moscow, but when it comes to actions, these actions are like, uh, let's say, let's just say option that is always open for discussion, basically for sale. And that is a huge problem. This, this, is, a, this is the biggest problem of Mr. Duda. Uh, Mr. Morawiecki, Mr. Kaczynski, who placed both of these people in political chairs. Um, that was the least desired option. So those are two options I have suggested. The third option, actually, they had some Americans working in which, and in Zgersh, there was one American who did work. Well, one American did try himself here in Zgersh, and then I'm not sure whether was it the same one. He was transferred to Warsaw. Uh, not is working over there, still employed uh, near Lotnitschko Airport. And I think that's a bank where he is employed. Uh, that's a connection from, if I properly remember, it's from upstate. It's 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 it's. Um, yeah, I, I don't really guess. I would I would really have to. It's like a Boston area, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Um, I still, if I'm going to stay here, I'm still going to meet these people, try to make a contact and see if uh, we can come up with something uh, common, with some common statements in respect to this stuff. But then again, these people are subject to regulations from the U.S. and here from Poland. Um, it's, it's just like this. Um, how much they can do for me and so on. This is like a, so limited stuff. Okay. He did very well. This guy was very intelligent. He learned Polish very well. It was very hard working. I remember that. So did I mention three options? One, two, three. I cannot even come up actually with a fourth option, but uh, no. do not talk, do not talk about this stuff. Uh, of course, we're going to transfer you from here because you're not going to have anybody here anymore. Well, on other locations, I would have even less. Uh, this is just a brutal reality. Uh, but this was the connection from outside of the center. Uh, very, very connected with what went on here. Uh, what went on outside and indeed uh, with the people from Warsaw big time okay so uh, this would uh, then complete the video uh, the part number four a library is going to be closed uh, was closed today on Thursday you can see the time and date and it's going to be closed I understand tomorrow and it was a closed entire week except for Wednesday but I'm not even sure about Wednesday uh, again, if I go, if I repair it to the part number three, was it closed? Was it not? Uh, let's hope my things are not going to get deleted uh, at night, that uh, I'm going to keep them intact. That would be like super, super nice thing that would happen for me. Because this is what these closures were used for, and this is what these closures are still used for. Not a good stuff, folks. Um...
I'm sure other issues, there's a bunch of other issues, but hey, that's it for this. Um, thanks for watching this one and uh, take care of so whatever you are.